Reba.com data has revealed Perth's rental stock is being absorbed at a rapid rate, with listings falling by 17% in May, which is the lowest they've been since November. November 2013. Rewa President Damien Collins said despite speculation about a potential challenging real estate market, overall it is doing quite well, which is evidenced by the May data, and we are yet to see any impact of the federal government's home buyer grant, which was released only yesterday. So let's break it down into all the details. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to our market update video series where you can stay up to date with the markets that matter and find out what's happening in your local area. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So let's kick it off by talking all things leasing. So the strong demand we've seen for rental properties continues with a 27% increase in leasing activity compared with April and the vacancy rate dropping significantly in the last two years and that comes from Mr Collins. In May, Hallshead saw the biggest spike in leasing activity growth with 33 leases for the month and was closely followed by Nolamara with 20, Coolblup with 16 and Joondalup and Como with 18 leases each. Reba.com data shows rent prices remain stable in Perth with the overall median rent sitting at $350 per week during May. Looking ahead, the median rent per week should remain at least stable to the end of the year with any increase in rent only allowed on new rental listings. Legislation implemented in the Residential Tenancies Response Act means occupied rentals cannot have a rent increase until October, Mr Collins said. Now turning to the residential sales market. CoreLogic's latest home value index shows dwelling values in Perth declined by 0.6% in May. Mr Collins said although overall prices had only slightly declined in the Perth region, Rewa.com data shows two out of three suburbs saw either an improved or stabilised median house price. The top 10 suburbs that saw the biggest increase in median sale house price included Ellenbrook, Claremont, Butler, Yokine, Yanchep, Gosnells, Kelmscott, Hallshead, Waikiki and Williton. Interestingly, seven of the 10 suburbs had a median sales price under Perth's median of $475,000 and suggest people are taking advantage of properties in Perth that are priced at the lower end of the market. Listings for sale were also down in May with only 11,299 properties for sale on Reba.com. This is 3.3% lower than April and 30% lower than this time last year. Sales activity improved by a massive 43% in May following a particularly weak April and it is clear that sales stock is being absorbed rapidly also. The suburbs that saw the biggest improvement were sales in Hallshead, Ellenbrook, Rockingham, Byford, Yanchep, Wanneroo, Dianella, Waikiki, Balga and Armidale. Well that's it from me today guys. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series and if you want to submit a question or there is a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there is a link in the post to do that. Apart from that guys, have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, see you later.